America can't succeed unless you succeed. That is why I am running for President of the United States. When Hillary Clinton became an official candidate for president, she was subject to the Federal Election Campaign Act, which requires compliance to campaign finance laws. Can you promise me I'll be in first time voting? Please do your best for me, Hillary. Just for me. Journalists from Project Veritas Action covered the Clinton launch in New York this past June. It was quite an event. Chelsea! Thank you. Thank you for supporting us. The campaign set up a booth to raise money. Hillary supporters could make campaign donations and get Hillary's souvenirs in return. Hi, can I get a hat and a rainbow button, please? Hold on, one sec. Uh, no, no, I know, but I don't think I can. Button. Did you? Yes. Thank you so much. Yes. On this day, some very senior staffers manned the booth. This is Molly Barker. She is the director of marketing for Hillary Clinton's entire presidential campaign. Hey, Aaron, wait, before you take another person, so she's Canadian, and so we can't take Do you have a green card or a U.S. passport? And this is Aaron Teeb, Hillary's compliance manager for the entire presidential campaign. It's Teeb's job to make sure the campaign does not violate any of the FEC campaign finance laws. Our journalist went to the booth and met this woman from Canada in line. Where in Can Canada are you from? Montreal. Oh, okay, that must be nice. When the woman from Canada got to the head of the line, there seemed to be an issue. Hey, Erin, wait, before you take another person, so she's Canadian, and so we can't take Do you have a green card or a U.S. passport? Oh, why would I? I'm Canadian. Sure. So we can't take contributions from anyone that's not a citizen of the United States? But she traveled all the way from Canada to support Hillary. You could give her. She's paying cash. Are you serious? It's not, it's not okay, my so role. I'm okay, I'm a doctor. When I come back to Canada, I will be talking about it. The law is very clear. Foreign nationals cannot contribute to presidential campaigns. But it didn't take long for these campaign staffers to think they had found a way to skirt the law and take the Canadian woman's money. I get it. It's uh, the Federal Election Commission requires... Can I give her the money? She's an American. And she, she can buy could, it for she me? She could make a donation. Should you okay. buy it for me? Sure, I'll buy it. <laughs> She's buying okay. it. So, okay. so Canadians can't buy them, but Americans can buy it for them? Not technically. You would just be making the donation. Oh, okay. Not technically really means not legally. Let us rewind here. Our journalist went to the Hillary booth and just by pure happenstance was in line next to this woman from Canada. We do not know her. She is not one of our journalists. This event was totally spontaneous. The Canadian woman wanted to support Hillary's campaign and Molly Barker broke the law by allowing our journalist to become the middleman. Sure, I'll buy it. <laughs> She's buying it. So, so Canadians can't buy them, but Americans can buy it for them? Not technically, you would just be making the donation. Oh, okay. The FECA prohibits contributions by foreign nationals to campaigns directly or indirectly. The law also prohibits making and accepting contributions in the name of another person. So it'll be a total of 75. Thank you. Yeah, it worked out because you're Canadian, I'm American, and I did it for you. So. Thank you so much. Imagine how much more support you'd get. I mean, like, you know, so much support all around the world for Hillary. Yeah, and if we were allowed to legally by the Federal Election Commission to have people give donations who weren't citizens, we would. But again, allowing someone else to make the donation for a foreign national is against the law. Well, at least I was able to help her out, yeah. you know, because we need as many people as possible. So, well, thanks so much. I Thank really you. appreciate it. Just minutes after this illegal exchange, Hillary took to the stage with our journalist standing nearby. We have to stop the endless flow of secret, unaccountable money that is distorting our elections, corrupting our political process, and drowning out the voices of our people. Just to repeat, these senior Hillary campaign officials are not rookies. They know the ins and outs of the election code, and we've shown you they're willing to break the law. Next up, we go even deeper inside the Hillary campaign to show you how election laws and rules are ignored at every level. 
Stay tuned, Hillary, and check your email. You've got mail.